Hello and welcome to the Status Report highlight for the 21st of March 2017. And this week we're going to kick things straight off with Creative Director Brian Hicks giving us the current tasks and immediate goals for Point 0.61 hotfixes. And the current tasks for Point 0.61 Stable Branch are as follows. QA team is currently investigating reports of unlootable corpses, repro steps being investigated before gameplay programming team can attempt to address. Gameplay programming team currently working on addressing physics issue with Point 0.61 experimental unstable build that results in animals sometimes moving below terrain. QA team is verifying adjustments to vehicle physics on experimental unstable branch that should address vehicles slipping below terrain. Gameplay programming team is working on addressing some legacy security issues found on Point 0.61 stable. Say bye bye hackers. QA team is verifying changes to vehicle persistence and the handling of destroyed vehicles on experimental unstable branch that should address problems on stable, with destroyed vehicles sticking around. Over on the Point 0.62 front, Adam and his team continue pushing along, and for those that miss PAX East, on screen now is a cut of the slow pan through work in progress broadleaf forest and a pan through grass with the work in progress new grass shader. And current tasks for Point 0.62 are as follows. Young conifer distribution, additional color adjustments to tree and bush colors, generous lighting config changes, and performance analysis. On the beta side of the fence, there is a large amount of work ahead of the team. Brian knows we've made comparisons before about the extensive changes being compared to the spinal transfusion of DayZ, and that cannot be stated enough. This is a massive undertaking, and it is and will take time. That said, let's take a look at what the team is currently focusing on for their immediate tasks. Beta current goals. Rework of user action system. Iterating melee combat mechanics. Inventory refactorization, internal testing of knife axe prototype combat, soft skill prototype, introducing animations for user actions that previously used generic, creating support for vehicles to functionally have more than four wheels, V3S for example, electricity system prototyping, unjamming animations for new player. And finally from Brian, he has three links to the top three issues the QA team needs more feedback on from the official feedback tracker. I'll leave links to these in the description below Indivisible players and zombies, character is stuck attacking, and desynchronized hand slot. If you have any information regarding these issues, feel free to update them with what you have. From lead animator Victor this week, we have some juicy melee animations to show off, where Victor goes on to say, Creating attack animations for this new system is a bit more time consuming though. In the old combat, there was one attack animation per item. In the new melee combat, we now have a series of six animations per item. These animations blend together, so you can either perform an attack and go to idle, or you can continue with another attack without interruption. In upcoming weeks, we are planning to add damage to the player and hit reactions, as well as continue on balancing the entire melee combat system. And finally this week we have lead sound designer Andre. The audio department is operating at full power, working on both .62 and .63 updates. For 0.62, we are preparing a full revamp of ambient sounds, new atmospheres, and environment sounds in general but also spatial vegetation or structure sounds. We are utilizing the potential of our new sound system, so it's not just new samples, but a true, complete overhaul. New ambient sounds for forests, coastside, fields, but also cities and villages are all in the making. The infamous annoying random sounds of fence screeching are gone, and the audio will also follow weather dynamically and in more detail, ultimately meaning new wind, thunder, and rain sound effects will be added to DayZ. In general, roaming the countryside of Cherneris will be a much more pleasant experience to your ears. At the same time, part of our audio team is working on the 0.63 update, where we will introduce new user action sounds, weapon reload sounds, and basically all audio connected to the player character. 0.63 will also bring new vehicle sounds through our redesigned audio system, so driving will sound more natural and responsive to engine behavior. So we got some juicy information in this week's status report, and that's what I like to see. And finally from me today, I'd just like to take this time to apologize on behalf of some of the DayZ community that are making it extremely hard for us to enjoy the game we love. Being fully aware and understand the frustrations some of the community do have with the time the development is taking, I'm also fully aware that the dev team are working as hard as they can and will continue to do so until we have the game that we've always wanted. It's just going to take a little bit more patience and as I've said before, take a little break from DayZ, play something else, there's plenty more out there to enjoy until Daisy's development reaches your satisfaction. <laughs> there was this YouTuber actually called Gen Genital Warts? I forget his name, but he had glasses and a neck beard, completely lied about the development of Daisy and said that the team ran away with their money and will never get the game we wanted. <laughs> oh, what a joke. He's happy now though, because he's rolling in that YouTube hate money. Seriously though, somebody who's got nothing more important in his life than to moan about a video game and cause controversy online. You gotta feel sorry for him, really. So keep your chins up, stay positive, 
morale high, derail that hate train, and prepare to board the hype train once again. That time will come. And until then, I hope you enjoyed this status report, guys, for the 21st of March 2017. All links will be in the description as always. I recommend you read the status report yourselves in full for the most amount of information that they hold. And I'll see you peeps next time.